Feeling a bit apprehensive? Yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Ludmilla very well and I worry about how it's going to turn out. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for making the time today. Thanks. So fabulous. Come on in. So I'm going to start with a dry cut, uh, as it allows me to use the natural wave of your hair to follow it and give you a nice custom cut, and it prevents it from, you know, looking funny when it grows out. So on a bad hair day, you've got a good haircut. Okay. <laughs> now your layers are pretty grown out. Yeah. What do you usually do with it? Like, what kind of styles do you usually do? Uh. Well, this summer I've been mostly wearing it up and down. You're right, it's yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind some layers. A little bit of shape and style. Now, would you, are you partial to every piece going up, or do you mind a few tendrils? No, I like the tendrils. That's nice, hey? Yeah. So I can take your fringe here, mm -hmm. shape that, and kind of contour it with some framing layers here. Sure. Yeah? Okay, and then... Yeah, this layering will help kind of get some of that damage from the center out, right? Yeah. And it'll give you a much silkier feeling. Much so I know a lot of people like to do their own roots at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you'd like, we can get you started on a professional system where uh, once you come in, we'll do a full set and I'll match you to that color to set you up. And then you can just come in once twice a year or whatever to do low lights and then I can actually have the same color oh. and, and we'll be all set up together. Mm -hmm. uh, so th quite a bit of natural wave in there. There is some. Mm -hmm. Enough to make you have to work a little bit more with the brush. <laughs> That's lining up really nicely. Mm -hmm. it feels good, hey? <laughs> it's always been a pleasure to having your hair Especially in the sink, right? Mm -hmm. Having your hair and head massaged. So, what exactly is a conscious stylist? Okay, so I've named my business Conscious Stylist because I find that, I mean, a lot of people treat their hairdressers as a therapist. Mm -hmm. So it's it's more entailing than just the the style, the cut, the the do. It, you're working with people's self-esteem. You're working with people's self-worth their image, you know, that's what a lot of people hold dear to themselves, that's how they identify themselves, especially in our society. Mm -hmm. And so, conscious stylist entails a lot of things. You're conscious about what they do in their life, how they style their hair, how much time they have. You're conscious about what kind of hair they have, what works best with the hair. Mm -hmm. uh, you're conscious about the products that you use so that you allow them to be able to replicate what you do. Uh, you're conscious about helping them understand how to do the style that you've created. And you're conscious about, you know, allowing your energy to permeate into them as well. So you need to be a balanced person to be able to allow that balance to come into the other person as well. So because you trust me with holding and touching you, mm -hmm. you know, I also need to be in a good intention to be able to, you know, reciprocate that uh, kind of energy. So the shampoo and conditioner that I use is a sulfate-free, paraben-free, so it doesn't strip your oils, it doesn't uh, over-saturate it in, in petroleum products. Um, so it's a, actually it's a Canadian product. They designed it to be a vegetable-based product line. So a lot of the protein that's in it and the hydration is either from amaranth seed or basu seed from uh, African safari area. And so the, um, the finishing spray acts as a root boost and all of the products from Surface have a thermal agent infused into them. So at the same time it's protecting your hair from the heat, it's, uh, it's conditioning it with the products that are in it. So it's like a two-in-one. And it gives you, like, when I use this, it gives you the volume mm -hmm. as if it was backcombed without the actual stick or tack. Or, so it just feels full and, mm -hmm. and lively. Comfortable, or do you want a bit more feathering in there? It's real flow and real sass now. It's going to be 
the mirror. Have a look, see, and adore yourself for a minute. There it is. Oh, there's nothing that gives you more of a lift than a haircut. Yeah. It feels wonderful. Is it? Yes, Fabulous. Thank you. I love the way it looks. Conscious Dazed is an individual, like myself, who takes into consideration all of the aspects of a person's image, and that's from self-worth and self-esteem to the self-image and how we represent ourselves in society. I consider your lifestyle, I consider your time, I consider your hair type, the products that you use, and I consider how you feel it within yourself and how you create, how you present yourself in life. A conscious stylist is aware of your emotions, is aware of your energy centers, is aware of how you trust yourself, how you trust others in life. And I reciprocate that by showing you with consulting, with asking all the kind of questions that you need to be able to stay um, in a comfortable position in my chair. I focus on meeting all of your needs uh, through different kinds of questions and I really focus on giving you a pampering and a relaxing experience. So then with the Conscious Styles curriculum, having the ability to train people to connect with others, especially those that are in your chair, and taking that into different hair schools and giving them the opportunity to create a universal program. So when I begin the curriculum research, I will be traveling throughout the world. I'll be collecting beauty information from Europe and Australia and Germany and ev everywhere, anywhere that they have different ethnicities and different ways of doing hair because you know, we're, we're becoming a melting pot in Canada. We're becoming really eth ethnic and there's different hairstyles and people are used to having their hair done a certain way. So this curriculum will be universal. It'll allow for those stylists from around the world to come here, challenge the exam, become a stylist instead of having to pay for the course and get stuck in the whole system. And once that curriculum develops a name, once that becomes official, I will then create a school, like a community college. And that community college, I will call it the four pillars. So everything to do with beauty, body, mind, and family. And I'm hoping to collect um, like-minded people who are also upgrading their trades and who are also creating a system where it's just a different way of learning and a more encapsulating way of learning because what we're taught in schools aren't the way we live. And so we need to have a little bit more of a system that allows us to learn different ways of taking care of our image, different ways to take care of our mind, uh, everything from psychology to um, meditation, a huge, huge factor in our lifestyles that hasn't been incorporated or taught. Uh, and then nutrition and exercise and yoga and family, you know, everything from pre-birth, post-birth to integrating youth into adulthood and then teaching parents how to be, you know, interactive parents. So that's the vision.